Hi, I'm Randy Vance. Today I'm on HCB's brand new 65 Australia. This is the largest center console yacht on the planet. And walk back with me. There is more outboard horsepower on this boat. Five, seven Marine 627s than any other boat in the world. I'm gonna walk you through it, but first take a look at what it's like to ride this baby. Now the helm is set up with a custom highly polished pod here. It's got a fold out drawer for your ignition and your kill switch. On either side you've got tactile switches. These are electronic switches that operate through the C-Zone system through these triple Garmin 24 inch displays. We've also got FLIR on board. I like the fact that we've got electronic throttle and shift and we've got dual thrusters, one on the bow and one on the stern to make any captain look super. Finally, the entire console area is air conditioned for the ultimate comfort. Now you buy a center console like this for the luxury topside entertainment space. Check out this dual lounge here. All injection foam filled so that it's extremely comfortable, resilient and it'll hold its shape for years. The front seating wraps around the bow as well and the teak table can be lowered to make this area into a sun pad or give you a flush deck all the way to the bow. Aft of the forward seating area on the port and starboard are rigid, frigid coolers that drain overboard. Now the entire sole is covered in teak and holly and you can see that the gunnels have a nice teak cap on them all the way around the stern. That's a custom option but one we think you should consider. Now the cabin below is surprisingly spacious even when you're considering a 65 foot boat. Step down into the main salon, you've got a galley to the starboard side with a TV hidden behind a two-way glass. You've got a large dinette that converts into a double berth and above it is a fold-down bunk bed for one more sleeper. Forward, you've got the master stateroom with a queen-size bed and elegant wooden cabinetry, enough to carry all the clothes you might have for a week's worth of travel. Aft, you've got an extra large head compartment with a very spacious shower, a large vanity, and a flushing china head. Now the command deck seats spin around and the sole raises up to give you this dinette area, great place for a large family meal. Now to maintain all that food, there's plenty of refrigeration on board. On either side of the console, you've got dual refrigerators. You've got frigid, rigid coolers along the gunnels, and those are ideal for keeping your beer ice for the entire trip. Aft, you've got frigid, rigid coolers at the transom, and in the floor, the fish boxes have cold plates to keep your fish cold without ice. Ahead of the starboard box, you've also got a bait box, and that's got a freezer plate in it to keep your bait frozen for the entire trip. Now, if all that freezer and refrigerator capacity isn't enough, the mezzanine step has three more frigid, rigid coolers built in. Now with all that style on board and luxury, it's hard to remember this is a hardcore battle wagon. There are 26 gunnel rod holders. You've got 10 overhead rod holders in the hard top. You've got nine shotgun rod holders and six more in this custom made, highly polished wood fighting chair. Now to keep your bait lively, there are two 80 gallon live wells on board. They're fed by multiple pumps through a sea chest and pressurized so the fish stay secure even in rough water. Once you've caught those fish, it's gonna be easy to bring them on the boat through either one of two boarding doors. Call them your tuna doors when you're fishing. Now the deck remains steady while that's going on because this boat is equipped with Sea Keeper, a gyro system that holds the boat level and true while you do your fishing. To access that, the gen set and your air conditioning, the machinery room is easily accessible through the console area. Down below, there's even a multifunction display so that you can keep your eyes on the chart plotter, the engines, and the radar. Now in spite of the 65's impressive length and its massive horsepower, it handled like a baby. That's creditable to the power steering and the electronic ZF throttle and shift system. We got the boat up to nearly 50 miles an hour quickly and easily with very little trim adjustment. 
and at 35 to 40 miles per hour, we put it into hard turns without backing off on the throttle or the trim. In fact, we brought it around by adding more throttle. Again, the boat turned sweetly, regained its heading, and ran off with great alacrity. Now the HCB 65 Australia is totally customizable to your tastes. You're not too much into fishing, let's make this an aft lounge. We could change the mezzanine seating into a summer kitchen and HCB will even build you a custom tuna tower for your boat. I'm Randy Vance in Isla Mirada, Florida on the HCB 65 Australia.